Okay, in response to a uh, question I've got on one of my Thermo King videos, um, I had somebody message me, uh, I believe his name is Miguel, and he asked um, what would be causing a code 62 whenever his uh, Thermal King um, tries to start up. Now, um, seeing as how he has a numerical code instead of um, a letter code, that would tell me that he's got a Thermal King evolution. The older Thermal Kings, um, they'll just give you an ENG or a uh, AC code or AC9 or something like that. And the only way you're going to get a numerical code is if you have a Thermal King Evolution, which is um, one of the newer ones. And easiest way to tell, Evolutions has kind of a rounded case where the older units have a square case. Now, um, on those Evolutions, um, if you go and you find the positive cable going into the casing itself, into the unit, um, there is going to be a... Um, uh, a current sensor um, and what that does is it registers the current going through um, in and out of the system and it um, and uh, if that sensor goes bad it's going to give you the um, the number 62 code um, that's the only thing I can think of it's going to give you the number 62 code is that sensor now um, you can go to a thermal king and purchase the sensor yourself and uh, I, I don't have an evolution around here, otherwise I could physically show you. But um, you're going to have to purchase that, um, that current sensor. And uh, what you're going to have to do before you put it on is you have got to unhook the positive cables on your batteries. And uh, make sure that they do not contact anything. Um, so you're going to have to unhook all your positives on your batteries. And uh, make sure that you unhook that positive that I've shown in another video that um, has that 50 amp fuse in the middle of it so that you have no power whatsoever going to that APU system. And then you want to get a multimeter and check that power and make absolutely sure that that thing has no power whatsoever going into it before you change that sensor. If you don't unhook the power going to it, you're going to ground out that daggum battery cable and you're going to cause some fuse is blowing and everything else but um, anyway you find the red positive cable that goes into your casing you have to take the casing apart and uh, it should be on the inside of that casing right after that wire goes through there's going to be a black box with that red wire going into it and that's going to be your current sensor and uh, that's what you're going to have to replace in order to get your APU fixed um, if you're not you know a hundred percent sure on you know your skills on changing something you know an electrical part like that then uh, you know by all means take it to a shop because if you do ground out that cable you could burn out your circuit board uh, which is your brain for the system so be extra careful whenever you deal with that um, but like I said I mean that's the only thing I could think of that'll uh, that'll that'll make a uh, code 62 on those evolution units um anyway uh if this helps let me know we'll see you